Hello and welcome to Bump Love. For a child rolling for the first time, smiling the first time, taking their first step, the first time they say mama are some of the most priceless milestones that we get as parents. And this comes differently for the different age ranges. Ladies, what has been some of the most memorable milestones with your children? Um, so for me, I think, so for Bianca, it was walking. I, she's always been an independent child. And so she was absolutely ecstatic about walking. Like she would take a few steps and then stop and like literally celebrate. And I always looked at her like, she was really looking for a place and a time when she could be independent. So she really, like that milestone, I remember it so, so well because of just the excitement that she showed, like by virtue of the fact that she could walk. My God, she was so excited. I feel like she always used to look at us walking and be like, ah, for me to go anywhere, someone has to carry me. I have to cry now. I can get there on my own. I feel like Bianca was like, I've arrived. And her joy, just me, she just look, she was just generally excited to be able to go wherever she wanted to go. For Blake, the milestone that I remember, like the one that was most memorable, and I think it was because I was also, like, he was my first child, was when he crawled. And he crawled on my birthday. And I, he was six months, he turned six months, or he was a few days short of six months. And he crawled and I, you know, I, um, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't at home, but his, his governess took up a, a video, an entire video. I was in, in, in the bank and she sent me a video, the desktop, like for me, it was the end. I had finished like on my birthday, my child crawled. And I think for me, what was most exciting was he crawled backward. So he looked at what he wanted, where he wanted to go, turned back and then crawled backward. And then they sent me the video. I remember just bowling in tears and crying. And I was like, oh my God, my God, my God, my baby's crawling. Only backward, but it was such an, uh, you know, an exciting day for me. So those are the two most memorable uh, milestones I had for Blake and Bianca. Um. In my case, as I said, we could be going on until tomorrow. So um, I'll just say the more children you have, the more you concentrate on, okay, the ones that you remember the most are usually the first ones. Like I remember for my first baby, it was leaving or just for him going to school, you know? Just going to school was such a, you know, such a big thing. You know, you prepare for it and you can see that this tiny little human being is wearing this oversized bag, but off we are going to school. With the rest, well, the, the memories will, the memories of the milestones aren't that, you know, but uh, for my second, there are many, but I think, the day he realized that he was taller than his dad. You know, <laughs> it dawns on you that this is some sort of rite of passage or something like that. Uh, with my third, because I, we, we did, we grew up speaking my mom's mother tongue, but we didn't speak a lot. Um, I mean, we didn't speak Luganda. So when I had my kids, I really, really wanted them to be able to speak, you know, a, 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 a native language, whether they are moms or their dads or whatever. So with my third, I ensured he spoke so much like Luganda with their maid. So you can imagine the first time he said an English word. Today he can they can barely speak any like any Luganda or anything like that. But the fact that that day even he felt it, you know, that our first um, English full English line. If you hear him speak English now, you'd never think that he's spoken anything else in his life. With Asante, I think every day is a milestone. You know, it's it's different with a girl. You know, it's. It's just something else. And the fact that she's my baby is that I think I concentrate 
I, I, I try to remember these things more than I did maybe with the boys because I know that there is no other chance. So your first and usually your last, you're able to record and remember such milestones. Yeah. Oh, wow. I love milestones because they make this motherhood thing so, so beautiful. Like every time, you know, they pass those milestones, you're amazed. And for my first, I think it was pretty much everything, you know, when they smile, oh my God, you know, the first child, oh my God, he smiled. Oh my God, he just did this. Oh my God, he crawled. So my first, we had neighbors that were, there were girls and they were like always with him. So he did everything pretty fast. He did everything pretty fast. He spoke fast. He, everything, like for him, it was beautiful. But my fondest was my third, who is Makil. Oh my God, when he spoke, because he took so long and yet he had his old, elder siblings, but he took long to speak. So the first time he started saying mama and the words coming out was like really, really priceless. Like for him, I can't forget that. Um, and then Fatam, I think he also took a while walking. He didn't walk fast. So he's walking excited, all of us, you know, those first saves and you singing for them, tambula, tambula, like they would just be excited in the house. I think for me, those are the fondest memories, but for the third, it's so vivid. Him talking, he took a while and I'm like, eh, but the fact that he has his brothers, I don't know why this is taking so long. But when he finally, oh my God, he's speaking all the time, mommy, mommy, I just have to remind him, I'm on phone, please, I'm on phone, he speaks all the time and then for Zara oh my god every day is priceless it's it's she's learning to talk she spoke she calls mama and she will call mama mommy 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 so for her it's all these beautiful beautiful things coming up she's learning new things she's very aggressive ah, we're just loving it and the brothers love it too yeah it must be a lot a whole lot basket of fond memories when you have more than just the one but i can't believe that you guys remember your children crawling and walking and talking and slurping <laughs> i don't remember all of that you guys at all i just see pictures and i remember oh okay he once crawled oh he once talked but at my fondest memory the my most memorable and i'm sure it's for both my son and i was he was turning 10 with and that was his confirmation so my son's ra being raised Christian, but his dad's Catholic. So the sacraments, mostly he, the church, he does it the Catholic way. So time for confirmation comes. In my head, I said, hey, hey I'm a Protestant. We, were, um, I, we had a confirmation when I was in secondary school, if I remember, just going over to secondary. My son was nine, and the Catholics were saying, yeah, hey, you're late, you're late. But I remember... I feel like it's the best thing that we ever did because there's a discipline that Catholicism instills in you. And my child is really a rough rider. But in the months leading to and on the day of his confirmation, you guys, my son was a different person. First of all, he was wearing a fitting suit. It was the first real suit he had worn in his life. He had this rosary don don and this cool rosary of, that makes you look like a cool dude, like around his neck. Then he's there, he's bowing big before the priest, before God, like he's being hum he's been humbled by something great. Then he's there making the sign of the cross. Then he started the Hail Mary, which I even crammed. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Please note, this is a child who have been fighting for to recite table eight, table nine, table 10, but he's there reciting the Hail Mary and he's doing all this, everything he's been told to do. And he's saying it with a straight face, like he really believes it. I looked at that guy, I said, child, are you really of my womb? But I remember that day, it's, it, it, it was such a profound day in both my, it's the first time you guys, my kid left me utterly, utterly humbled. I'll never forget it. And I believe there's a foundation there that has carried on and just made him a better individual. And I'm so thankful for it. So when I look back, it, has, it was just like a turning point in all our lives. So yeah, for me, it was two and a half years ago, confirmation. Wow, um, the stuff that warms our hearts as parents. So please allow me to share two, seeing as I have one child for now. And those of you who have four, I've been sharing <laughs> many. So two stand out for me. Um, but I, I will focus on one more. So the first one is he walked really late. Michael walked at one and four months. And he was surrounded by kids his age, but 
I've noticed about Micah that with all of his milestones, he's he's not been under pressure, he's not been coerced, it's not a thing of please walk, please talk, none of that. Uh, even with potty training, everything has happened according to his schedule. Same as walking. There were kids around him who were walking, uh, but he walked when he was ready. And I remember that walk exciting us because we were so, oh my gosh, other kids are walking, you're not walking, are you okay? And he was quite heavy when he was a child. He was really, really chubby. So we thought maybe it was the, the weight that, you know, he can't support his own weight. But when he started to walk, it really, really excited us. And then, of course, the talking, which I have talked about on the show for so long. However, I want to say that that for us is, it's like an ongoing milestone. And it absolutely warms our hearts when he says things or makes phrases that we are like, you know, Ben and I are always looking at each other like, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? And I guess for me to encourage a mom out there whose child is not speaking, that eventually when they do, yes, there is the rapping, like, um, like Rosette's son, because he yaps. He's a mommy this, mommy every two minutes. Mommy, have you seen this mommy? And he's telling me about his superheroes and all the things he's watching on TV and the, his friends and how so-and-so pulled his thing and so-and-so did this, mommy this, mommy that. And that's exciting. And every time I'm getting frustrated, I have to remind myself that there was a time when he was not talking. <laughs> So I learned to enjoy the milestone. So just to say that that for, for me, the speaking milestone is ongoing. Right now he can communicate, he can express himself, but there are still things that I, I, I light up when he says them. I'm like, oh my gosh, he said that. You know, so those are really the two um the two milestones that I really, really find member and are really heartwarming. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So you had it from the ladies. Do share with us what your children's milestones have been like. Until next time, with love from Thumb Love. <laughs>